Hello again, my dear students. I'm Dr. Rajai. Today we are going to discuss the topic of building career and writing resume. As before, please listen to PowerPoint presentation and at the end I will come back to highlight key points of the topic. Building careers and writing resume. Agenda. Employer's approach to find candidates. Job search method. Resume planning. Resume writing. Completing resume. Resume distribution alternatives. Objectives. Understanding of the hiring processes of companies. Understanding of the job search methods. Learning about how to present yourself in a resume. Learning about how to present yourself in interviews. Employer's approach to find candidates. First option organizations prefer is internal mobility because, it minimizes risk of wrong candidate selection as performance of the candidate is known. Companies give second preference to personal recommendations, as it gives confidence that candidate is worth to assess. If nothing works out then companies rely on external agencies, and job advertisement postings. Job search method. Candidate should start his job search in an organized way. First find areas and industries offering good job opportunities. Then specific companies and their requirements should be analyzed. Thorough research, and focus on big picture than momentary gain are recommended. Networking Strong networking is a key to get a job through referrals. Networking means, to increase your contacts and interaction with business professionals in informal way. Participation in social events, business forums, road shows, social networking sites are some ways to increase network. Purpose of Resume Main purpose of a resume is to impress the recruiter and get a call for interview. Through resume person conveys his educational qualification, experience and suitability for the applied position. It is advised not to put unnecessary details as recruiter doesn't have enough time to read them. While preparing resume one should think from recruiter's perspective and then edit resume as per the requirement. Following are the steps for resume preparation. Step 1, Planning. Step 2, Writing. Step 3, Completing. Planning. Gather information about what recruiters are exactly looking for. Gather all important details of your professional history and education. Select suitable medium to write resume which fulfills employer's requirement and give opportunity to express effectively. Person should focus the resume on strengths that companies are looking for. At the same time write weaknesses with proper reasoning to reduce its negative impact. Red flags, following things should be handled with care as employer is extremely cautious about these things. Gap in employment. Criminal record. Job termination with cause. Frequent job changes. 5. Based on experience one should select proper resume type. Chronological resume is suitable for experienced people as it shows consistency of the career history. Functional resume is good for freshers, as they need to highlight their skills and they do not have work history to put in chronological sequence. Combination resume includes good parts from both the types. Disadvantage is that it becomes too long and sometimes repetition can not be avoided. Writing your resume It is important to allocate plenty of time to write resume with thorough research. It is recommended not to provide any fake information in your resume, it can have serious implications, 
sometimes even dismissal. Adapting to audience It is recommended to perform research to understand the expectations of the recruiter and accordingly portray your strengths. Through the resume one should convince recruiter that he is the perfect match. Mention few important achievements, so that recruiter can judge your ability to perform. One should use standard, common and easy to understand terminologies. Use of compelling language with short and to the point sentences creates good impact. Use of letter I should be avoided as it indicates self-indulgent nature. Use of action verbs gives sense of accomplishment and project's ability to perform. For all the claims in resume supplementary information need to be provided for authenticity. Traditional resume sections. Contact details, education and work experience are important sections of the resume. First section should be contact details of the candidate. Information should be well organized and accurate. Education section comes next it is important for freshers. Should be written in chronological sequence latest degree first. Work history is important for experienced people as ability to work is judged from this section. Work history should be in order with latest job first. Presenting factual data of achievements is effective. Followed by work history, activities, achievements and volunteer tasks can be mentioned to convey your activeness and effectiveness. Personal information should be added only when required. Completing your resume Reviewing your resume for any errors or spelling mistakes is important. It is recommended to keep resume to one page and simple to read. Keep resume short but should cover enough information. Grammatical errors should be avoided. Generic resume does not work. Do not exaggerate or boast things in resume. It becomes evident. Understand resume formats. Mainly there are six types of resume formats. Printed traditional resume. Printed scannable resume. Electronic plain text file. Microsoft Word format. HTML format. PDF file. Based on the recruiter's requirement, one of the format can be selected. To make resume scannable, candidate should use keywords, use simple and readable format with suitable font. Plain text file is an appropriate option to choose as it is fast and less error prone. Proofreading of the resume is very important as small mistakes can also change employer's perception about you. Resume distribution alternatives Following are the types for resume distribution. Mailing, faxing or emailing traditional and scannable resume. Online submission of resume. Posting resume on your website. Posting resume on job sites. Conclusion Following organized way is important to prepare good resume that includes three steps planning, writing and completing. Networking is a key to get referral jobs. Highlighting strengths and being honest are important aspects to consider while writing resume. Resume should be written with keywords, standard terminologies, readable and organized format. Proofreading is important as small mistakes can also reduce the probability of short listing. This is the most important chapter for anyone looking for a job at any level. Although we have covered the basic part of resume, writing and interview process, these two topics are rapidly evolving these days. So I strongly advise you to read recent articles, how to prepare for interview and what to include in your resume. For instance, High-tech companies these days receive large number of resumes, sometimes in hundreds. 
Initial in re review of resume these days are mostly conducted by a computer rather than a human being. And the software this computer uses generally looks for keywords related to position technical requirement. For instance, if a position requires AutoCAD software, your resume must spell this keyword correctly, otherwise computer will miss your resume. Also these days, a lot of information that used to be placed on resume are obsolete, such as objective or hobbies. I highly recommend you to read recent relevant articles on resume, which are widely available in, on internet. I wish you happy job hunting.